Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray and we're glad that you're here. Today, I wanna to introduce you to Angela's Turkey Burgers. Oh, a classic that our friend Angela gave us several years ago and is one of our favorites. We're gonna be doing it on the Pit Boss. Let's jump in. All right, so we're gonna start with two pounds of grounded turkey because why two pounds? Well, uh, one pound typically makes about four patties and our family loves to eat these and we're gonna actually make leftovers. So this is gonna be two nights of turkey burgers here at our house. Then we need some grilled onions, some Monterey seasoning, and some horseradish. Ooh, what? Yep, that's gonna be different, but you're gonna love it, I promise. Mixing bowl, enough for turkey, whoop. Grab the slabby. Not wearing gloves, I wash my hands, don't worry. It's for my family only, so, but my hands are clean. Turkey. Done. Next, we're gonna add a heaping handful of Montreal seasoning. All right, so whoop, about like that. I'm gonna sprinkle it in there. Uh, we'll go a little more. Okay. Then we're gonna chop some onions. Yes. Chop, 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 chop. How many chopped onions you want? Uh, my wife is not the biggest fan of chopped onions, so we don't do a ton. Boom. End of bow. And end of bow. Next, we're going horseradish. We're gonna go two tablespoons per one pound of meat. Ooh. Then, go ahead and get your hands dirty, right? What? <laughs> Stuck to the bowl there a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> All right. So here's a fun little add-on you can do. This is a chunk of white cheddar cheese. We're actually gonna crumble this up and put it in our mixture as well. Exciting! And mix. All right, now we're gonna use my newest best friend, the Drip Easy Tray. Uh, this thing actually pops up and makes a, a bin, and so I love this thing. But we're gonna make some patties, and then we're gonna take them out to the grill. Actually, coat them in oil, then take them out to the grill. All right, so the pit boss is sitting at 400 degrees, okay? We're actually gonna put our burgers around the fire pot instead of right over it so that we don't just char these bad boys. All right, here we go. That one's wanting to come apart. <laughs> so again, around the fire pot instead of right over the fire pot. That way we're getting a good even cook, indirect heat. Yeah. Go for eight minutes on one side, then we're gonna flip and go for another eight. So what I tend to do is if they've been on the grill for a couple minutes, I'll come back out and I'll just run the spatula underneath them just to make sure they're not sticking to the grate because turkey burgers will fall apart quickly if you leave them stuck to the grate, as will any other burger. Another thing about turkey burgers, they're gonna lighten up on the edges, but that definitely doesn't mean the middle is getting cooked, okay? So just hold that a little bit longer. You'll be fine. She's gonna cook eight minutes, all right? 
All right, so the nice thing about that eight minutes is that gives you enough time to clean up everything inside, all the prep work and everything, throw away the trash, do the dishes, make your wife happy, all that fun stuff, right? But also, when you open this up, we're gonna see some crispy edges where that cheese that's out on the edges is kind of getting, uh, starting to melt and getting crispy. But in addition to that, you're gonna see that these things are a beautiful brown when we flip them over. A little trick I like to use is to use two spatulas, put one behind the burger, slide your spatula under it and flip it over just to make sure that it sticks together. Again, turkey burgers are a little more fragile, if you will, than regular beef. And so we wanna keep them together or they're no good as a patty. But let's check them out. another six to eight minutes and then we'll come back so I don't know if you can hear this on the video but these things are sizzling cracking and going in here and so what I want to do is just take a peek at them make sure they're still good make sure they're not burnt we got any flare-ups which the pit boss perfect about not flaring up right but if you're doing them on the grill you definitely want to make sure they're not flaring up oh, yeah. yes sir let's go so a couple of things to keep in mind when you're cooking with a pit boss or a pellet grill, is especially at high temperatures like 400, you wanna make sure you have plenty of pellets in your box or you're gonna run out, okay? It's cooking at a hot temperature, so it's moving a lot of pellets through there and cooking those off. You definitely wanna make sure that your box is full at the beginning or you're gonna lose all your heat, lose all your temperature, you won't cook your burgers. Brought my plate with me because these babies are gonna be ready to come off more than likely. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. Woo. Get these bad boys inside. Look at that goodness. Oh yeah, baby. All right, we got our turkey burgers. They're looking delicious. Oh my goodness. Now we're gonna plate them up, right? So we got our bun, but here's how we're gonna do it. Something different, something special. Are you ready? Yes, you are. The first thing is we're gonna put on there some spicy brown mustard. Yep, that's right, spicy brown mustard. And then in addition to that, some cranberry sauce. And you think, oh, that's disgusting. But no, no, you put these two together, something magical is gonna happen, watch this. So here's the deal, you gotta put the cranberry on the bottom because if you put it on the top, then the first bite, you lose all of it off the edges, all right? So you're gonna slap your burger on there, boom, the top, Boom, and give it a go. So check this thing out. Oh my goodness. Let's take a bite. You ready? Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's good. You better enjoy. Like, subscribe, join us for our next video. We'll see you.